Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, today's Sunday. I just got up and got around. Um, yesterday, we got back late. I'm going to say about 7.30ish. Um, and I just ate and went to bed. Um, I posted my numbers up online, social media. Um, it was a very exhausting day, a very um, eventful day. Um, but it, overall, a very, very positive experience. Um, we got up at 4 o'clock in the morning, had to drive two hours to make the 7 a.m. way in. Um, we didn't stay for the last flight of deadlifters, and I know that's not very supportive, but we had a two-hour drive back, and honestly, we were just so beat. Um, we just wanted to go uh, go home, and just, just go to bed. We left and, you know, drove two hours back um, and ate and ate and went to sleep. Um, I didn't make the numbers that I was looking for. I was looking for a 405 squat, uh, 315 bench, and 405 deadlift. Um, didn't make that total. Uh, made a 385 squat, uh, 285 bench, and made a, a 395 deadlift. Um, on both squat and bench, I, I really feel as though I left it all on the platform. Um, I made three white lights on my first two attempts. Uh, third attempt, uh, whenever they had to take the weight from me. Um, and so, you know, I never, never gave up. But I was unable to do it, so that means that the 385 and the 285 was what I was capable of doing. On the deadlift, um, I got nervous, pulled my opener with the 365, didn't hold it long enough, my weight shifted forward, and I let the bar down before the down command came. Um, so then on my second attempt, I had to stick at 365, uh, nailed that one on the opener. Um, and then instead of going for 405, I played it safe, went for 395, and I pulled it, and I knew I had fuel in the tank. So I could have pulled 405 very easily. Armed with that knowledge, uh, next time that I sign up for a powerlifting meet, um, things are going to go differently. Um, I was always in the second flight of lifters, not in the super heavy and on the super lights. I was in the middle. Um, that didn't bother me any. Um, I was really surprised. I was kind of in the middle about the squat, so that was kind of middle of my squat was in line. Um, I was way at the bottom on bench, which really surprised me because I always thought the bench was my weakest event. Um, but apparently I have a pretty strong bench. Um, and then my deadlift was very high. I was like fourth uh, in line for a deadlift. And I really learned a lot of things during the meet um, about deadlifting. And, and it's not necessarily about technique. It was about, you know, they said in the rules meeting, they didn't care how fast the bar went down so long as your hand stayed on it. And a long time ago, when I was first getting started into serious weightlifting, uh, I was in the back deadlifting. Um, some gun bunnies uh, gave me crap over it, and I went up and asked the gym owner, and I said, hey, you know, what's the deal? And he said, you know, the most strongest guy he knows could deadlift right beside him, and then what do? And he could be talking to me like I'm talking to you now. And that really changed my outlook and mindset on deadlifting because I would always save some in order to lower weight under control. Uh, when guys were warming up, they were just picking up the bar, and as soon as they'd lock out, they'd drop it. Now, I'm not an advocate of that because I, it doesn't respect the weight or respect the gym, but the fact that you can let the bar drop faster than I normally have been uh, will probably allow me to train differently. And the information that I got about what the judges expect within the particular federation that I uh, did the meet in has given me so much knowledge in order for me to tweak my training program. Um, you know, it was very, um, uh, the, the positivity overall was just so overwhelming. Um, everybody was so very friendly. Um, you know, we had uh, two gentlemen who were probably old enough to be my father that were competing. Uh, they did a full meet. Uh, we also had an 11 year old girl, her, uh, her name was Breezy, and um, she did deadlift. And to see, um, well, I mean, we, we all know the stories about how, pe how, how parents live vicariously through their kids and football and t-ball and they get in their face and it's not fun for the kids anymore, you know, and all that. But this girl, she had such innocence 
and you could see she was very passionate about it. And every time she got up to the deadlift, the energy that the crowd gave her and the support that the community gave her was so very positive. Because I know in you know the media we've had such tragedy with all the shootings and people just uh, the pressure cooker that we created and people just can't take it and they snap and they get a gun and they kill a bunch of people but to see this 11 year old girl get under the bar and pull and just with a clear mind and a clear heart that was very that was probably the most inspiring thing that I saw in the meet um you know, again, there was just a, such an overwhelming positive uh, atmosphere. Um, you know, the only thing I didn't see that was positive, um, and, and, and it's not my lifting style, um, is that people would beat the crap out of each other if they got up to the platform to do their, you know, to do their lift. Um, and it was just, I, I don't understand it. My lifting is very zen very um very calming you know because um, as henry robbins said 200 pounds is always 200 pounds it doesn't matter if it's in the gym or if it's on the platform or whatever 200 pounds is always 200 pounds okay so like td jake says the mind is the battleground and so if you succeed or if you fail it's going to be up here first even before you touch a bar and so i did i didn't really understand how when people when they were in the hole or on deck and then they were getting the chalk on their hands and they were doing the wraps on that kind of stuff and then when it, it was time and their name was called their coach their training partner would just smack them and i mean just smack them on the back so hard they nearly knocked some guys over and i'm just like damn so it was that's not my style and i guarantee you if you know, the people who were with me certainly tried to do that. I would have probably turned around and, and gave them the look. Um, so, but they were very encouraging. And I was very grateful to have my family out there with me um, to encourage me and support me during this time. Uh, again, just obtained, obtained a bunch of knowledge. Everybody was super friendly. Um, and uh, we look to do more meets in the future. Uh, again, I encourage you uh, to find a, your local federation, um, pick a date, do a meet, um, you know, because it's very simple. I mean, either you lift it or you don't. Okay, um, you know, I'll post some uh, videos for taking up all my lifts. Um, I'll post them up on social media, but, you know, as the numbers go, people don't really like to hit on competition otherwise other than to say, you know, video or it didn't happen, but I don't, you know, my meat standings are up there. I don't know what I place, so I really don't care. Um, so I'll throw a couple of those up, but, um, you know, that's all I got, guys. The first meet's in the book, and it's time to go to work. Um, the information that I gained from there, so, so much. Um, and so it is really time to put that information to use so we can get better. And, um, that's all I got, guys. Till next time. We'll see you.